Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to my FS22 mod presentation video. In this video I'll show you again my huge farm production pack. Yeah, it's still a beta version, but hopefully the last one. I hope that I can uh, finish this pack in the next few days and upload it to ModHub um, and then when it's finally released in ModHub uh, you console, console players can play with it too. I hope so. Yeah, but it will take a long time to wait in ModHub. I guess it will take mm, month. But right now for the PC players and all the testers I have a new beta version that you can download on my website and I'll show you what is new. But before I show you the new stuff you can see some buildings already at the right side. Um, I'll tell the newcomers that don't know this pack um, what this pack is all about. So it's a production pack and one aspect is that it has 10 new products that are not in the base game and I integrated this new products without scripts so therefore I hope that they will uh, this pack will come to console and yeah you could see some of them already here we have the oat drink and the oatmeal and spaghetti and ice cream strawberry ice cream and soy drink and popcorn and there we have uh, fried potatoes and sorted potatoes and premium oh, premium potatoes here and here we have mixed salad and tomato sauce that are the new products and the other side of this pack is that uh, I watched a lot of real farmers that um, make products out of their crops and usually they don't have huge fabrics on their farm but they rather have something like an old barn or a new building but more like um, farmhouse size not as a fabric and they do all kinds of productions inside this house and therefore I thought okay I look for buildings that are not so big but not really small like those ones here and they are the all-round production buildings for the farmers and you can uh, have all kinds of productions inside these buildings and every building uh, is capable of producing the same stuff so the production capability is the same with all those buildings. Uh, I only made five different buildings to match for different map styles. So for the American uh, maps I have those two and at the left we have a French style looking building or other styles that are with natural stones and here this looks more like Thassan, uh, Germany or Switzerland maybe and this is yeah I don't know really but I like the look and let's have a look into the production menu and here you can see all the productions you can build do in one of those buildings. So it starts with the 10 new products. The design of the icons uh, is similar to the design of the original um, FS22 icons because I like them to look matching with this 
brown lines around this is original and this is what I made and here are the french fries premium potatoes oh I still have the German version one moment okay now it looks better so the french fries primo potato spaghetti tomato sauce mixed salad oat drink oat meal popcorn soybeans drink and strawberry ice cream and on top i have the basic stuff that is in the base game so you can produce um, flour and sugar you can have bake bread and a cake um, resins grape juice oils and dairy stuff too and that's it so what you can't do is something like chocolate because for this you need a factory usually but all the stuff that you can usually do at home at your farm in your production building your personal uh, i integrated here yeah that is the idea of the rather big farm production building that is no factory and the amounts of cycles are reduced compared to the factory because the factory is a factory and this is only a farm production building so it's a little bit smaller but it has a huge variety of production possibilities okay and one hint if you want to produce flour to make bread or spaghetti afterwards you have to do it like that you have to add wheat or barley and then you have to activate the production but the important thing is that here where is the flour you have to change the output mode from storing which is the usual and storing means you put it out in a pellet to distributing and distributing means that it is distributed from your grain mill room to the bakery room and then you can use it if you have it on storing then the flour will be put out as a pellet and you can't use it for producing um, spaghetti or bread or cake okay that's it yeah and then some users said oh this is too overwhelming for me i want a smaller building and i only want to produce some things in it and as it was in the early beginning of the development of this mod i said okay i can do it and i did it so i looked for smaller production buildings really tiny production buildings yeah small hut where you have your yeah your oil pressing uh, machine or you have your your oven or whatsoever or your potato washing bin and here we are and i have three different building types this is with stone as you can see and with plaster and this is a red wood as you can see and i thought bef before i only had those two and i thought hmm and what to do if you want to play on an american map and i thought okay let's take the little garden shed and make it a nice tiny cozy red uh, painted garden shed out of it and here you can produce your um, sorted potatoes or whatsoever so we have three building types and each of the three can do the same and you can see it on the sign on top it, here it's at the side and here it's in front what is the 
category of this building. So this can produce uh, french fries, sorted potatoes, sugar and pig food. It's um, potato and root crop uh, production somehow. The next is the small grain mill with an internal bakery which uh, c uh, produces spaghetti as well. And here you see what happens if you don't have the flour on distributing but on storing then you get uh, um, a bunch of flour. So here we have the different kinds of fruits. Uh, fruits production. So tomato and salad. Um, yeah, I count this as fruits as well. And all the grape stuff. And you can see always only one production product in front of each building. But every building can do all the four of them. I only didn't want it to put all the stuff inside every building and put out all the stuff because um, then I would still be filling up the, um, the storage of everything. And here you can see in the menu with um, those are the cereals with three different um, production chains. Those are the oils and here we have the fruits and every building can do all four kinds of productions. So and here we have the oils. Those are the base game oils. No additional product. Here we have the cereals with popcorn. So it's you normal cereals and oatmeal and popcorn. And I wanted to add popcorn because um, corn doesn't have a lot of easy recipes until now in the base game. You can only use it for the cereals, which is a complicated recipe. And I thought it would be nice to have a simple recipe for corn. So the recipe for corn is very simple uh, for popcorn. It's just corn and it multiplies itself by five times, which is not realistic. <laughs> realistic would be it multiplies itself by 40 or 50 times and I thought okay I can't do it because if I would do this then the popcorn pellets would pop out of the building like crazy and nobody would be able to um, to handle this and therefore I thought okay popcorn is more than the the original corn for sure, but I reduce it to five times. And the prices are calculated uh, matching to the recipes. So I took the price of the, the base price of the normal corn and then I calculated it, I divided it by five and then it is lower than the money you get for this. But here I added um, a profit for as for 30% for the simple recipes like this. And the more difficult recipes, let's see, like here, where you have two ingredients or you have an ingredient that needs to be processed before, which is, ooh, where do we have it? No, here we have two ingredients too with the water and then this goes up to 40 or 100 percent profit. So that you definitely make a profit when producing all this stuff. 
So, and here is the last one, the dairy category. And here you have the ice cream and the, the oat drink and the soy drink as well. They are not really dairy, but I thought it would fit into this. And I didn't want to make another category. In the beginning I thought of three or four categories and then it turned out to be six of them. And I thought, oh my god, so many categories, so many buildings. And therefore um, I put those together. And you can produce butter and cheese like in the base game. And it's always the products you can produce here are uh, signed on top of the door or at the side. Okay, those are the new small production buildings. And that is what took me so long. And here you will know this if you have watched my other videos or if, if you use the, the pack already. Those are the selling stations and I decorated them and here inside it looks like a shop and here and this is the original from the French map and but I decorated it, it as well. And here we have a small market stall. And here is the area where it's not yet finished. I want to add um, a neutral selling station, only selling station. So one only with warning stripes and one with those grain, grain dump thingy. This one. which is here, such a thing, and only such a thing is the whole selling station, then you can put it in front or behind buildings wherever you like and you can say, oh, this is my shop, or you can just put it on your farm and say, okay, I sell all my stuff there. Yeah, and those selling stations are um, universal selling stations. So you can't only sell the um, new products that I made and the base game products, but it is, um, I used categories instead of actual products. And therefore, you can sell uh, products from other modders as well. So. If you have a modder with a production mod that produces lemonade, for example, or apples, you can sell apples and lemonades in these shops and in this market stall and in the um, plain selling station, you will be able to sell it as well. And it's um, open for future mods as well, so whatever a modder is thinking of um, leather shoes, you can sell it there. Yeah, that's the idea behind it. Yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. You can download the actual version. It's still a beta version. Uh, on my website gamergranitana.com and I provide a link in the description below this video for download without registration and I'll be happy if you test it and if something is not working correctly you can tell me. A known bug is here the bail trigger should go a little bit downer further down and I will do this when I make the selling station stuff ready and if you already have one of those existing production buildings on your map maybe it's better you rename the file name of the 
actual uh, the this new beta version because I had to turn the buildings uh, 90 degrees to make them standard standard turning and maybe it can happen if you already place the buildings that they turn just by themselves when you use the new beta version yeah okay I think that's it I wish you a lot of fun with those productions and did I say yes I will bring it to Motab and I think it will take months to be tested so but then I really hope that they will allow it for consoles um, this type of new products has never been released for consoles and but I didn't use scripts and therefore it should be able to be allowed for consoles and yeah I really really hope uh, that they will allow it for consoles okay that's it now I wish you a wonderful day thank you for watching and all the best till next time tschüss <laughs>